just finished getting ready for the day. I couldn't record anything because uh, I suck at time management sometimes. I'm very detail oriented. So when I like when it comes to a job or something professional, oh baby, I'm there. But when it comes to get ready for school or like going out for, with friends or something mundane, baby, I'm running on, on me time. So tried to make my oatmeal. Got to put some fruit in it. Um, I have on like really, really little lashes today. They're so cute though. They're giving what they're supposed to give. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the fit. But today we're, we got some things to do. I made my bed, bathroom's cleaned up. Let me show y'all the fit. I wish I had a big body mirror, but um, the sweats are Boohoo Man, Ozzy Weagles by Adidas, a uh, Free Your Mind Reckless hoodie by Young and Reckless. So yeah, come to school with me. Hey Vine, I'm at school. Um, this is Jalen Carr. He's from Houston, Texas. And the bag. Oh yeah, the you see, oh, hold on, wait, hold on, wait. The bowl, the bag, the, 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 the yeah. Okay, anywho, there's Memphis. Jalen Carr, tell us a little bit about yourself. This is from my YouTube channel. Oh, for um, for real, for real. Ready to graduate. Aw. That's kind of, it's kind of sad. <laughs> no, I'm trying to get to the money, so. Oh, period, period. Get to the money. Oh, yeah, you right. got a haircut. He had a beanie on and our teacher made him take it off in class because he had a haircut. <laughs> 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 like the color purple. Not the, the, oh, the color purple. Come on, hair, <laughs> your hair is giving the girls. Y'all be having good food, man. I'm giving Oh no. No, is that true? Oh. <laughs> he said, that's my cousin. <laughs> something about taking care of your blood so I looked away. <laughs> you go, Chaz. 4'11 making big moves. I'm just here with Chaz in um, PSB, which is, hey, what PSB stand for? Public science, public school building, public science, what the hell that mean? I don't know, but um, I barely go here. I don't know, it's my third year out here. Well, it's my fourth. Anyway, I got a croissant. What the hell? What does that have to do with anything? Where am I going to do work study? Hold on, wait. Mr. King don't work here exactly. no more. Exactly. <gasps> he used to let me get hours and not Wait, what you mean he don't work here no more? He just came to my door the other day. Oh, <gasps> <gasps> bitch. Why didn't you come to your door? Uh. <laughs> Why didn't he come to your door? to the gym with me. I'm with Nehemiah. She's right there. Love her. Um, right now, I'm just doing whatever I was doing. Thank you. 
So I just got back to my apartment from school and I was talking to myself, I'm making my plate to eat. And I'm thinking, I just left a, a meeting for my department. I'm, you know, I'm a theater major, film minor. So we had a majors minor meeting and they're doing a small production and I wasn't casting it. I did an audition, whatever. Uh, it'd be like that sometimes. Anyway, so we're all gonna get assigned a role to be part of, you know, the production crew and stuff. It's a, it's a collaborative art. Yeah, so everybody has to participate, right? And they were like, we're gonna assign you to a position. So after the meeting, I was like, I'd like to request a position because I don't wanna get put in a position I don't wanna be in. And I like to work with sound. Obviously I make music. My intentions with music are to one day be able to produce and, and creatively direct my own, you know, films and do the score and the soundtrack. I think Euphoria is the most immaculate precise um example of what i want to do with my life and like i literally imagine euphoria being the story of my life i wrote it directed it acted in it and did the score so when i was like i want to request you know i, I want to do tech i want to work in sound i know there's another student who usually does that role and he was like if you gonna request girl request and in my mind, you know, I'm thinking, I don't want to step on nobody's toes and I'll fuck with her, she cool. Like, I, I know that's usually her thing, but this is, I want to do it this time. And I just walked in this bitch and I was like, if you gonna make a request to do somebody's job and they willing to give you the job, bitch, you better stand on that shit, assert what you want. That's how you get, be assertive, stand on that shit and do that shit that they give you the job, do that shit to the neck. It's not about stepping on nobody's toes or how they might take it personal. I, I, I. At the end of the day, that don't got shit to do with me because I saw my potential and I went to put my potential in the position to uh, excel or, or be seen and contribute my skills to something. It's not even about Shirley. She has nothing to, they have nothing to do with me wanting to play that part. And I saw the stars in my eyes. I saw the potential that I have to do it. And the people who are in charge of assigning roles also see that potential in me. So, if you want something, go get it. And don't hesitate, don't be timid. Because as soon as I said, oh, I know so-and-so be doing it, he could have been like, Oh, you right. She gonna do it. Then I'm shit out of luck doing props. I don't want to fucking do props. I want to do. I want to do sound. I want to. I want to do the score for the show. And I'm gonna do it. Thankfully, he was like, "Girl, if you if you gonna request something, request it." Yeah, I want that. Can I have that? I got what it takes to have that. I got what it takes to do that. All right, put that hat on. Do that shit to the neck. So when the show happens, I'ma try to sneak and record some of it so y'all can see what the fuck I'm finna do. Gave me the job, I'm finna freak that. Ugh. Anyway, yeah. Happy um, what's the night? Monday. <laughs> Woo! Shit, I can't oh. breathe. Why won't y'all do the same thing? I cannot. Oh. Oh, I thought this was the nacho. I thought it was the nacho. Hey, bye. I was like, hey, bye. Oh my God, they're doing the stunt again. Oh shit! 
hours later. I swear, being self-aware sometimes is so fucking annoying. Like, I, I miss, when they say ignorance is bliss, like, I literally miss the day sometimes when I was not so enlightened and aware of not only self, but, like, the world and shit. Like, I just... Gain, growth. At least I'm pretty. <laughs> At least I'm pretty and rich and talented. I'm back in my apartment now and I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna go to bed because I'm starting to feel feelings that I don't wanna feel. And I have the space and the time to feel these feelings, but part of me gets scared to feel anything other than happiness and high vibes once I finally reach that again because it is so fucking hard to get back to that when I have literally been to the bottom of the sea and to the pits of hell. I'm like, oh no, don't go back there. I know you're the reigning goddess of the underworld. Literally, you come from the, 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 the depths of the sea. I'm a Pisces, sun, Scorpio, moon, and rising, okay? I literally bask in the hell <laughs> that shows up in my life. I kind of became, at some point, at some point I became addicted to the craziness and like sadness and grieving something in life and something to be fucking sick in the head and depressed over because that was all I knew. And it's like anything outside of that was scary because it doesn't last long. Is it gonna last long? And if I get high again and I make my way up and I'm finally standing on that mountaintop like, yes! Look down, there's literally another slope and there's another fucking mountain. It's like, I'm just gonna jump off this one, okay? And I obviously don't like to be pessimistic and think like that, but it's like, fuck. While Patchy pulls himself together, let's see how SpongeBob's party is shaping up. So anyway, it made me think of my mom, how my mom's very hard body and I was very soft. So I didn't get the love that I actually needed. I didn't get the nurturing that I actually needed. And then I thought of this fucking boy. Are you fucking kidding me? Did I, my mom is emotionally unavailable. She does not have the emotions to provide for me, to nurture me how I need because she lacked that growing up too. Did I just attract, I've been dealing with this boy since fucking October. Did I attract someone else that's emotionally unavailable again? Cause I'm like trying to figure it out. Like why, why am I constantly going back and forth between like being rational and being impulsive emotionally though? like. Do I check him? Do I cuss him out? Do I? He texted me the other day. He took 20 minutes to respond. I was like, never mind, bye. Then he responded. I'm like, oh, I don't like doing stuff like that. I don't like, I'm, I don't like being that girl. I don't like seeming like the crazy chick. I have been through my fair share of swinging all niggas and setting shit on fire. I don't want to be that girl. I want you to acknowledge my feelings. I told you how shit makes me feel and you didn't do anything about it. So I tried to leave you alone for quite some time. And it's like, damn, I just saw you for the first time in like two months and all of a sudden all that give, bleh, cringe came rushing right back. And now I'm right back into the pattern of pacing back and forth like, God damn it, okay, wait. So he talked to me yesterday and we hung out yesterday and it seems like he was flirting with me. Was that flirting or was he just being nice? Destiny, I haven't talked to him in two months. Maybe he was just being nice. He just wanted to speak to you. It's been a while. Is he fucking oblivious? I make it very clear how I feel. I literally, through action and verbally, make it very clear how I feel. So it's like, stop, like, stop trying. It's not being reciprocated. So stop. I don't want to work on breaking down somebody's fucking walls. And I was like, breaking down walls? Oh my God, you fucking brick. Are you emotionally unavailable? That's why. 
you, it probably does like me. He probably actually really does like me. Probably really likes being around me, everything about me. Whatever it is that he likes, he likes me. He's emotionally unavailable. So I can't get through to his heart chakra. What are you scared for? I don't bite. Unless he's like that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, damn, shorty fuck. Crush on this is not P. Six and a half hours later. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said that he can hear the cries of the innocent blood. Yeah. Now, even if you know deep down in your heart and soul, that person isn't innocent. Mm. They gave you every right to strike them dead. And yes, all you had to do was stop and think. Mm. Okay. But no. No, 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 no. That's not what the plan was. That's not how it was written, so that's not how we want to act it out. Oh. Now you get over there and start digging that grave. Oh, what? hold on. Oh, what the oh, hell? Oh, oh, oh. We don't need nobody finding out where he's at because you know they come looking for him. Care about He stole my mama. He did everything to make that happen. But what did he do? Tell me how much he loved my own brother more than me. Because he's so perfect. He didn't deserve all the greatness and glory God put on this land. Mm -hmm. God made this land for his children, not for the others. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're out here. That's why I killed him. That's why I started digging his grave. And that's why I called you to help him. Oh. 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 this is probably from school my peers and i were presenting our one page plays in class today right in our directing play directing class baby tell me why when my two actors went up to do my scene everybody else had a had a, they had a good scene that was like yes oh yes clapping and cheering and laughing and oh why when my actors finished the scene this is why I don't fuck with nobody. <laughs> I'm kidding. The whole class was like, no, the whole, look, the whole class turned and looked at me and was like, you're sick. <laughs> because my one page play was about this, this boy who was confessing like, man, it was a poor decision I made. Please forgive me. It stems from my childhood trauma. He talking to his homie and his homie's like, yo, when you find out your girlfriend cheated on you, you think it's the jerk from work, not her brother. Bro, I, but I, when I tell you, yes, it was about incest. And I just seen this TikTok and they were singing Sweet Home Alabama. And it made me think like, I don't know if y'all peeped that. But when they seen, when when they, when the whole class, I'm telling you, they was like, you're sick. I swear I heard that from like eight people at once. 